Hey what's going on guys and welcome back to another Pixelmon 3.0 update video and today the fourth, fourth, the fourth of its version kind. of the features and today guys we are looking at the custom Pixelmon spawner and this has to be one of the most exciting parts Scott. No yeah, joke. there's so much you can do with it, Ryan. There's just way too much. And I'm excited to see what map makers actually do with it, guys. Um, so if you are a map maker, let us know in the comments if you plan on doing anything with the uh, custom Pixelmon spawner. Also, there's the trainer editor. There's a lot of fun stuff that could be done. And I'd love to play through any maps that, that people make. But yeah. um, I think, Scott, we should just get into it. Guys, if you enjoy these feature updates and they're helpful in any way, please be sure to smack that like button. Let's aim for 2,500 likes. That would be amazing, guys. And yes, yeah, Scott, let's get in and have a look at what this does. Let's do it. All right, Ryan, so you have set up everything here and you're gonna teach me what's going on with these pixel spawners. Exactly, I've set up a few, exactly. few pens around the place. But first of all, guys, we're gonna look at the actual block. So this is it, this is it right here. So this a, is the a spawner, on it. a customizable pixel on spawner. So we're gonna right click that and you'll see this screen pop up here. So first thing we're gonna look at um, Scott, you won't be able to see this right now unless you click in. Are you able to I click in while I am? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we take a look down at Pokemon name, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to type over there. So um, let's have a look for Caterpie. And this is where it gets interesting. So the rarity. If we set, let's say, hmm, okay, here's what we're going to do. Caterpie are going to be very common, okay, because most people would do that. So we're going to set the rarity to 90. Then okay. let's say... Is this out of 100%? It is. So let's say okay. Weedles are less rare. So let's say they're 10%. So we just click, write the name, we set the rarity, and we click Add, and it goes into our Pokemon list. Um, up on the top right, if we're going to have a look, guys, it'll say Fire on Tick. So that's like every tick, it will um, spawn something. Or we could do it on Redstone, which is pretty cool, because you can use pressure plates, guys. For spawning like bosses oh, and stuff. Oh, that is so cool. Um, I think that was a really good, really good idea to add both options there. Then we have the spawn tick there. Spawn radius. Now this is how many blocks you want to be. So you, you want to keep it quite close to where your block is. And um, well, that's what I, the way I'd like it anyway. So I'm going to put that to four. This is the maximum amount that can be spawned at one time from it. So there can only be five um, either Caterpies or Weedles or a mixture of both or all of the of one and um, we have a look at we've got min level so we can actually customize anything so you could put a Charizard level one Scott that's, you know what I mean? uh, that's funny you could put anything you want there so you've got a min level a max level and then guys we have the boss ratio and um, so that's one uh, every 100 just there so last thing is the aggression you can see here it's just on default so the normal whatever the Pokemon normally go by. We can do timid, so they won't really want to fight. Or the timid is less fighting, is it? Mm-hmm, I think so. Passive, um, I'm pretty sure is Passive no is no fighting, yeah. And aggressive, no, -aggressive. then is uh, they will try and fight. So, I've got yeah. to set up a few examples, guys, and I want to show off here. So, Scott, you want to come into my Caterpie pen full of Boss Caterpies? I do, I do, I do, I do. Okay. Remember we had a load of Boss Caterpies before? And then Where'd we had go? them again. So there's two here cut in the gate. There's one that actually one with looks the shader. Like you can get under. The boss names glitch a little, but uh, you can see it's a green boss and a red boss there. There's another green boss and another green boss. So you, I don't, I'm not pretty sure you can't customize. Here's the spawner Scott underground, so you can actually hide them, and it will spawn uh -huh. it above ground. So it's pretty cool. And um, you can't really customize what bosses, what type boss comes out. It will just be random. But um. It doesn't make too much of a difference there. I don't think if you set them to spawn regularly, you'll see they'll they'll all just come out anyway. So there we go. I am getting beepy noises. Hold on. There we go. Um. So that is how you just did the bosses. Yeah. Do you want to take a look at the next one? Let's do it. So I've just done a few little examples, guys. There's nothing too crazy to any of them. Um. I just wanted to show off. So in here we have a load of level one Voltorbs. And let's see. Oh yeah, I didn't know there was level one. Our spawner is down here. Oh, they're all rolling over. Let's see what we've got set. So we have, if you look on the left hand side there, it's Voltorb and the rarity is one. And Electrode, the rarity is one. So because they're both the same, then it's the same chance of spawning. So it won't matter. But you can do it where it adds up to 100 oh, to give I it the, 
the actual special rarity. Yeah. As you'll see and as we move on. One thing bit. to know is every time you go into it and click OK, they it will despawn what you've already mm -hmm. what I've already spawned and start to spawn again because it takes it as if you changed You're changing something. it, yeah. Look, there's a boss. One in a hundred, wasn't it? One in one hundred chance. <laughs> there's the boss. There's a boss. So that's hey, pretty what's cool. What's going on in here? So if we have a look in here, come on in there, Scott, I'll open the gate for you. I'm a nice guy. Oh thank you. Thank you. And we're gonna have a look under here and see what we've got. So we have Staryu has a rarity of 89, so 89% of the time it will be a Staryu. Mm -hmm. Munchlax has 10%, so 10% of the time it will be a Munchlax. Oh, I see one Munchlax. And a Snorlax is 1%, so he's very rare oh. to get out of this Damn, spawner. we haven't seen a Snorlax yet, no. though, have we? We have spawn radius of 3, so it will only do 3 blocks around where the spawner is. Uh, max spawn is 5, and the minimum maximum level is 10, so they will all be level 10. But again, I've got out, so... Oh, there's a Munchlax. Hey. There's and more. There will probably be a lot of Staryus. That is the problem. Yeah, case. I wonder if we get a Snorlax, though. You see, once it spawns five, though, it can have max five. So Oh, okay, that's fine. There we are. Too. So you can okay. set them higher. But in here, so, in here, I made a load of crazy monkeys. Do you want to come in here, Scott? Yeah, Some of them actually got out. Um, so, these are very aggressive Infernapes. So I'm going to have a look underground here. So they keep fighting each other, right? So Infernape is spawns 90% of the time, and oh. we have little <laughs> Ladybass Scott to spawn He's 10%. He's after fighting me. He's fighting me. But the reason they're all fighting, guys, is we changed up the aggression down here, and it says to be aggressive, so that's what they do. They do as they're told, which is nice. They're so aggressive. We have a spawn radius of two blocks. I was trying to keep them within the pen, but somehow they still they still managed to get out a little bit. But uh, yeah, oh, look, we got oh, a Ladybass. Ladyba. That's a Yay. 1 in 10 chance on that one. And then there's a load of Infernapes, and yeah, they will always fight each other because they're aggressive. And last but not least, Scott, we have a pen of Full Munchlax bosses. Munchlax bosses, that's so cool. So we're going to come in and have a little look. Oh, use, use canal, roam free. Roam free, Munchlax bosses. Be free, Munchlax. So we have the Munchlax in there. It doesn't matter what rarity we put it at because uh, it will always only spawn them. Yeah. Uh, spawn tick is on 40 there. Spawn radius is on 30. Max spawns is on 20, and that's... The reason Spoilers. there's a lot Even more of them. Um, I'm, on, I'm not sure how high you can go. I tried 50, you can't go that high. So I'm not 100%. Let me, I can test it here. Try 25. Uh, I'll try 30 first. Oh, okay, we can do 30. Will we try 40? We can do 40. Hold on. Maybe I was doing it wrong before. Yeah, no, 50 won't work. Let me try 40. Five. Five. 45 works. Does 49 work? Oh, maybe 49 works. Okay, you can spawn up to 49, guys, so you're going to see a lot. And the reason they're all bosses is because we put one to one ratio, so for every one that spawns, there will be a boss. So and that I means think then the ratio that that goes by is the actual boss ratio. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. You will see, should see a lot of these coming it'll in. It'll mainly be greens and blues coming in, then it'll be reds, and then it'll be a little bit of yellow. Mm -hmm. Not much. So it goes so by the regular. It goes spawn. by the actual rarity, which is really cool. Yeah, look at them all come, and they all look so cool. It's like a multicolored little. It's like yeah. whack a mole. They all just pop up. I want to see a yellow one. Down. Right, hang on. Let's see if we can get see a yellow one in here. Yellow one, actually. Let's time set day there, just so. Yeah, it's getting a bit darker. See a bit sure. better. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't it? Beautiful. You see all the ferals flying over. They're like, look at all this prey. Oh, look, we got a boss in Fernape over here. Hey, one one hundred. Nice. Oh, yellow. Light. I see a yellow I see one. I see a yellow. Yay! So guys, that's how the pixel spawners work. If this helps you in any way, please mm -hmm. be sure to drop a like. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. The link is in the description. And we'll have another uh, Pixelmon feature video tomorrow, Ryan, won't we? Yeah. Pixelmon 3.0 features. We're showing you everything there is to know, guys. So be sure to check out for that. And uh, Wait, anything I want to show else, you Ryan? something here. Anything stuff. else? Yeah, we've got a little... Whoa, it gets so dark during... All right, Actually, rain. This. Rain is so real in this. Are you getting rid of it? I am. I'm gonna show you a little fun one now, watch. Oh my god. Here they come! Oh, oh my god. Attack of the bosses! Attack of Attack the boss of legendaries! The legendary bosses. Look at them, Scott. Oh my god. That's insane! They are just popping out like there's no tomorrow. Ryan, this is crazy! Imagine trying to get through that. Imagine all the rewards you'd get from that. Oh my god. Oh, they're just lining that up. Would be they're how many master boss? Up. How many master boss? Guys, leave it in the comments. How many master boss do you think? you would get from beating 49 boss legendaries. Oh, they're still coming, Scott. <laughs> Look at them. They're so oh, multicolored. Yeah, but guys, bro. it just goes to show 
how much you can actually do with this Pixmon spawner. So again, if you enjoyed, smash that like button. We're going to be back again for another feature video tomorrow. And yeah, this has been the Pixmon spawner. It's been a lot of fun. Cheers for watching, guys.